Hey, what's up, Steve? Um, thought I'd give you a walk around on my truck. Sorry, it's kind of dark out here. You know, the sun's been going down early. I work all day, and I work like a half an hour away from where I fucking stay, so... Oh, I thought I'd give you a walk through on my truck. Um, I'll be using the flashlight to point out different things, so it'll help you out and get a little bit better. So, um, there she is. It's my stock. Most of it's stock. Um, she was in really bad condition when I got her. A friend of mine, my neighbor across the street, uh, his dad works on Toyotas. He was an uh, auto shop teacher at my high school for 30 years, and he swears by Toyotas, so he has like a whole bunch of extra spare parts. So I bought this off of him. It's, like I said, mostly stock, but it's got quite a bit of little upgrades here and there. So I thought I'd, you know, basically tell it to you. It's an 88 Toyota pickup extended cab, obviously. You can see the extended cab. Um, no lift or anything like that. So um, first off, obviously, you can tell, I'm sure you've seen in the pictures by the bumper. He reinforced this bumper. And that's all to the frame. This thing has got into an accident before. And you can kind of tell by looking at that metal piece right there. See how it's bent slightly? That was, that bend was not there. That was straight. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing got into an accident, and then he fixed it up and everything like that. And reinforced. This bumper was still, was there when he got into the accident. Nothing really happened to the truck, but the other cars were messed up. So, um, that's pretty much that. Um, what I've done is, is I've rebuilt all the front suspension um, all these joints and everything all these ball joints and everything are brand new um, you've got your Pittman Pittman or Idler I can never remember which one's which um, the tie rods are brand new the ball joints are brand new sway bar linkage is brand new uh, Rancho RS5000 shocks I put in um, okay well starting with underneath the, the hood now um, she was a automatic that was 22 REC and it was converted to a manual carbureted version. So there's the carb. He unplugged all the electronics. There's really no electronics in this. It's got a 21R distributor. Don't ask me why that's in there, but um, you know, he put it in. And it's vac vacuum assisted, obviously. Um, I replaced the clutch master cylinder because it was leaking into the cab. The back seal was busted and it was leaking into the cab and the interior is completely screwed off from that. Uh, this weekend I'm probably going to be replacing the uh, master cylinder because it's just old. You know, I can use a replacement. Um, okay, well, my accelerator cable is brand new. I was actually driving on my way to my cousin's up in Oregon. I live in Southern California. That's an 18-hour drive. And I was just about to get into a town called Klamath Falls when my accelerator just, you know, the accelerator pedal just was sticking. It just revved up. So I turned the car off, pulled over, and I found that the cable was frayed at both ends. So um, thank God the town that I had just pulled up into had a uh, Toyota dealership. So I would, you know, I had to stay a couple of days, but um, once I got that piece, I hooked it up and was able to go. So um, obviously carbureted. It's a Weber 3236. Um, I know she's a little dirty, uh, everything like that. But um, yeah, that's that one. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Um, I've got the headers. It's, in stock, it's not a stock manifold. There are headers that have been attached, or what is it, added. So that's that. Um, let me see. Let's take you inside the cab here. You can see that it's pretty much just thrashed. My seats are gone completely. I have to replace these. I'm going to replace these with seats that I can put a five-point harness on so that I can put a roll cage in this bitch. Um, all the tools back there. This thing has everything I need to work on this truck right here. I need a, uh, a freaking toolbox in the back. So um, as you can see, the floor is completely gone. Uh, he added a kill switch to it, which is right here. That other switch right there with the red um, red light is the switch to the extra fuel pump or extra fuel tank. And I'll take you over there in just a second and show you that. So um, that's pretty much it. It's just nothing stock inside, and there's nothing really big in here. But um, okay, so obviously underneath, I've got two fuel tanks. This one right here that you can see my lights on, and then the other one right over here past the drive shaft. So there's two fuel tanks. One is a reserve tank, and that fills the other one up. Um, the pump, ah, uh, long story. I haven't had enough money to fill it up yet, so 
it's kind of difficult to see. I don't know if it works or not. But um, this one, he put in a drain plug just in case the gas went bad. Um, okay, so what happened was is that my rear third, or my third member in the rear went out a couple weeks back. Um, I fried the pinion gears, and uh, the pinion and the ring gear. Don't ask me; it's a long story. But basically, my neighbor had a spare third member right there, 4.1 gears already. So I was like, "Shit, I'll take it." Um, okay, you can probably see this shock has been moved. Here, I'll get from behind. That shock is now has actually been moved. You can see that he put he fabricated my friend's dad fabricated that that holder right there and now goes to the cross member that goes from one part of the frame to the other. That's because that second gas tank is right there in the way. So obviously you have that modification. Um I'm sure you can see I have an add leaf that's really really thick this thing was made to carry one ton worth of weight it's a three-quarter ton truck that he wanted to carry one ton with so he put that fatty atta leaf in there so there's that um there's really not too much else that's been done to this truck um he put in this huge bumper this bumper bolts on directly and um it's a pretty heavy duty bumper i like it um you can see, obviously, Oregon ATV permit 2014. Like I said, I went up to Oregon. Um, let me see what else. The filler tank for the extra gas tank is right there. Uh, we got a uh, what is it? Lock, locking gas cap. Um, you can see that there's my old muffler right there, and I'll show you my new muffler. Um, it's, quite, it's difficult to talk about. Basically, that old muffler was just shot to shit. There were so many holes in it that. Uh, I needed a new one. I was getting such bad um, performance out of this thing that I didn't care how much I spent just to get her okay again. And then once I need a new um, muffler or, and stock or pipe, I'll get a new pipe. But the one I bought was just stock, um, one and seven eighths, I think, diameter, which is crap. I want to get two and a quarter, but what it is is the old exhaust pipe you can see was two inches, and that flange is still good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse that flange and um, put new pipe and then buy a new muffler and everything like that so that's that one and I'll show you the one let me see where's it at it's gonna be on this side sorry about that the new muffler and pipe is right there this thing was just fucking huge when I saw it but I was sitting there and you know I told the guy I was like I need something because this thing's just causing way too much problems I had to hang it upside down because of the bend in the pipe which is the reason why the hangers are underneath. So I lost quite a bit of clearance, you can see. And um, I'll cut off, well, I think this weekend I'm gonna cut off those hangers. I'm, I'm debating on whether I should fuck with it or not or just get a whole new system again. But that's pretty much what I've done to it. Uh, let's see what else. Mm, I mean, nothing really big. There's that's pretty much it for right now. I've got 31 1050s. Um, I've got, these are brand new tires, but I've got another set of rims with bead lockers on them, uh, inside my garage, but the tires were so badly worn out because this thing had such a shitty alignment done, which is the reason why I replaced all of the front suspension, um, that I just bought new tires when I got them realigned, so, um, I'm looking at this shit now that I'm noticing it, man, those tires, this tire's wearing bad you can see see that line right there that's what's scaring me right there I need to get I, I'm, I'm probably this weekend gonna put on those other tires cuz the other tires are pretty much bald right here in the center but what it is is that I took it to pet boys I got a year alignment done but they can't align it completely because my um, a arm bushings are shot to shit so what I'm thinking about doing is, is that just fuck it, leave them the way they are, and then just buy a complete long travel suspension system, which is going to cost me quite a bit of money, a couple grand, but I'd rather not worry about the bushings, because they're going to come with brand new bushings anyway, so might as well just fucking get that. But, um, you know, she's, uh, she's pretty big, she's a beast, you know what I mean, like, 
this is my my girl, so I thought I'd show you. Oh, forgot one more thing. You're probably wondering. That secondary coil is there for a backup in case this primary goes. This primary goes. I just unhook that that coil wire and plug it right to that that other secondary coil, and it'll start right back up. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, four-wheel drive. But, um, I thought I'd let you know what I was working with here. So, um, hope you enjoy it.